Hi everyone, Michelle Van De Pass here, and I want to talk to you a little bit about purpose and profit and the place of abundant living, getting what you want, what does abundance mean to you, and then actually getting off your duff and following through on some action to make that happen. So if you've ever listened to any of my videos, you know that I believe we're all already here living our purpose. I talk about that time and time again, that our purpose is something that we're born with and that we're living it. We may just not always recognize it or know what that is. But once we tap into the energy of what that purpose looks like, then we can work on bringing that into our livelihood and into everything that we do. And then we will feel more abundant, both financially and otherwise. So um, I got tired of looking at the ceiling there in the camera. So what does this mean? What this means is that it's, it's really important to go into that feeling of living on purpose, that feel that what you're doing makes a difference, that you wake up in the morning jazzed and energized to live in the world because who you are is making a difference. And that's what purpose is. Now, at the very biggest esoteric place, we are all here to live a purpose, to be more love, to express more love, to love everybody, to give more of ourselves, right? But at a selfish level, it feels like something more personal, something that only us uniquely as individuals can do and express. And that's the piece that once you tap into that, you will feel more abundant in all areas of your life. I know that to be true. I've worked with clients for many, many years and also just for myself, for my own example of how when I'm off purpose, I don't feel abundant. And when I'm on purpose, I'm overflowing with the feeling of abundance. So where, what does that mean? So what that means for many of my clients is that you feel like you're on fire to do something or to express yourself. And you have a way to do that in a business. And all of that is set up, but then to actually get the pieces and the moving parts working and together and happening takes a lot more effort. And sometimes we don't always have the skill to do that. For instance, do you need a website? Do you need a podcast? Do you need to build a business model? Do you need a marketing plan? Are you supposed to be on social media? media. If you are on social media, which ones? Are you supposed to be on Instagram and Snapchat and uh, Facebook and LinkedIn and so forth? And what are all the new ones that you're supposed to be on? And how do you create a sales funnel? And do you need to do a newsletter? And so we go in overwhelm just thinking about all these additional pieces and parts that we are told we need to do just to express our purpose in a business if we want to become entrepreneurs or have a side business or um, some money-making endeavor. And the truth is, when we're in alignment with our purpose, when we're on fire, there's usually just one or two matching energies that will propel you forward the fastest. So what that means is, when I work with clients, I'm not all about setting a big foundation. I don't think you need to go have a sales funnel and a podcast and a blog and a website and social media and get out and network and speak. I think that there are one or two of those activities totally in alignment with you that when they're structured correctly can carry you a really long way in your business. So it's all about aligning the purpose and the profit, and then doing the marketing activities to propel you forward the fastest and with the most joy and ease. I use tools like I develop marketing archetypes. You may have heard me talk about that before, and I help people align with marketing archetypes. 
Um, I use other tools, sometimes human design and, and your experience and your goals and your passions and what do you want your daily life to look like. All of these things need to come into play when we're pulling together purpose and profit and then deciding how to market and how to build your business. So pulling all that together isn't always the easiest thing, especially if you need to hire someone to go build a website or to help you start a podcast. So if you're interested in working with me on this or um, any marketing activities or business building activities, I invite you to come to Denver or just live stream with me um, on September. I have to look at the date. It's next it's next week. I can't even remember. It's next Friday and Saturday. I'm going to get the date right here. Um, and you can live stream, and I'm going to help you. I'm going to be in Denver with uh, Karen Curry Parker, who's Human Design, and we're going to help you tap into the energy of your purpose to really understand what it is that propels you forward. Then we're going to work with marketing archetypes and human design and work with you to get one or two marketing tasks that are going to push your business or your venture forward the fastest over the next year. It's not doing all of it and everything. So it's Friday, September 16th and 17th, either in person or via live stream. Um, you can find out more at gracepointmatrix.com. I'm going to put the exact link with this video. And, of course, I'd love to work with you individually if that doesn't work as well. Um, we can work together on Skype or on a VIP day on Skype or fly into Colorado and come hang out in the hot springs with me. That sounds like fun, right? And here's what I want to leave you with. Whether we work together or not, you're here living your purpose. Tap into that. Deepen your relationship with your own self. Understand what makes you tick. Understand what brings you joy and makes you feel alive so that you can be overflowing with that inner abundant feeling and then you can go do what you're here to do on this planet. Blessings, big hugs. Love you all. Hope to see you soon. Bye.